Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Abhishek Mukhopadhyay with the news at 9. The headlines. Electioneering gains further momentum for the first phase of Lok Sabha polls. Notification issued for the fourth phase involving 71 seats. Senior BJP leader and Prime Minister Narendra Modi says the country will never compromise on the issue of safety and security finance minister arun jetli slams congress for promise to abolish sedition law congress says sedition is an outdated colonial era law sensex closes past 39000 mark for the first time in badminton india's samir varma loses to chinese shi yu qi in the opening match of the malaysia open at kuala lumpur and in ipl cricket match underway between rajasthan royals and royal challengers bangalore in jaipur electioneering has gained further momentum with the issuance of notification for the fourth phase of lok sabha polls 71 constituencies spread over nine states will go to polls in this phase on the 29th of this month the last date for filing of nominations is 9th april and candidates can be withdrawn up to 12th april In Maharashtra 17 constituencies spread across Mumbai, Konkan and northern parts of the state will go to the polls in this phase. Old allies BJP Shiv Sena and the Congress NCP have announced tie-ups for the polls. In Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh 13 seats each will go to the polls in this phase. In Odisha polling for 6 Lok Sabha seats and 42 assembly seats will be held in the fourth phase. During this phase polling will be held in 8 Lok Sabha constituencies in West Bengal. Six in Madhya Pradesh and five in Bihar. Three parliamentary seats of Jharkhand will also go to the polls in this phase. All polling stations falling in Kulgam district of Jammu and Kashmir will also witness Lok Sabha polls in this phase. Meanwhile, campaigning has gained momentum for the first phase of Lok Sabha polls. Top leaders of various political parties are holding multiple rallies in different parts of the country, launching campaign in Jammu and Gaya in Bihar. Senior BJP leader and Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the country will give a befitting reply to terrorism and nationalism. He said the country will never compromise on the issue of safety and security. Bihar ki Bihar ki NDA sarkar aaj Bharat ko mazbooti ki taraf le ja rahi hai. Chahe aatankvad ho ya phir nakshalwad hamari niti saath hai. Bharat ko aap dikhane ka kaam jo bhi नरवीर से नहीं निपटा जाएगा अगर कोई नौजवान बढ़ते हैं उनको मुख्य धारा में लाने का हर संभव प्रयास हमने किया मिस्टर मोदी सेड दैट गवर्नेंस गोज इन टू रिवर्स गियर व्हेन द कांग्रेस एंड इट्स एलाइज आर इन पावर ही सेड दैट एनडीए गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन सेवरल स्टेप्स फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द स्टेट विकास की पंचधारा यानी बच्चों को पढ़ाई युवा को कमाई बुजुर्गों को दवाई किसान को सिंचाई और जन जन की सुनवाई इसके लिए एक ईमानदार प्रयास अगर हम सभी एनडीए के साथी मिलकर के कर पाए हैं तो इसके पीछे आप सभी का साथ आप सभी की भागीदारी है He alleged that the Congress is misleading people by raising the issue of reservation. Mr. Modi said NDA government has given 10% reservation to economically weaker people in the general category without disturbing the existing reservation system. He accused Congress of insulting Baba Saheb Ambedkar whereas the NDA government honored him with the highest civil award years after his death. Meanwhile 16 candidates filed nomination papers today for the third phase of elections in Bihar. With this 27 candidates have filed nominations so far. The last day for filing of nomination papers for this phase is Thursday. The third phase of polling will be held in five Lok Sabha constituencies on April 23rd. Two nomination papers were filed today for the fourth phase of elections in the state. Early in the day addressing a rally at Bhavani Patna in Odisha, the Prime Minister said the NDA government at the center ensured welfare of people of the state by launching several development projects in the state. Mr Modi criticized the Navin Patnaik led government for not cooperating with the center to bring about speedy development in the state addressing a rally at Thutukudi in Tamil Nadu today BJP president Amit Shah said NDA government led by prime minister Narendra Modi gives utmost importance to national security he accused congress and his alliance partner DMK of going soft on Pakistan's terror infrastructure 
He said BJP led government at the center has allocated more funds to Tamil Nadu than the previous UPA regime. Addressing at the rally in Coimbatore, Mr. Shah said the BJP stands for a strong nation and a stable government at the center. In a statement issued in Chennai, DMK President MK Stalin said the Congress Party's promise of transferring the subject of education from concurrent list to state list would help strengthen the federal structure of the country. He said the guaranteed income scheme for the poor as assured in the party's election manifesto would be a game changer in the lives. Congress President Rahul Gandhi will address two rallies at Boka Khat under Kalaya board seat and Lakhimpur in Assam tomorrow. BJP leader and Assam Chief Minister Sarvananda Sunawal addressed rallies at Vishwanath, Borsola and Bihipuria under Tejpur seat. NEDA Chairman Himanta Bishwa Sharma, Walking President of AGP Keshav Mahanta also held poll rallies today. Bodhland People's Front Leader and State Minister Pramila Rani Brahma filed a nomination for Kokrajar seat. In Assam, polling in the first and second phases will be held for five looks of a seats each while remaining four seats will be covered in the third phase. In Meghalaya, campaigning for the two looks of a seats, Tura and Shillong is gaining momentum. Meghalaya Chief Minister and President of the National People's Party, Conrad K. Sangma, addressed a public rally at the Polo Ground Shillong for the ruling Meghalaya Democratic Alliance Lok Sabha candidate, Jemino Mautho, for the Shillong seat. The Chief Minister said the people of North East should stand united in order to ensure their own aspirations. BGP Today said the Congress has made dangerous promises in the manifesto. Reacting on the Congress's manifesto, which was released today, Senior BGP Lead and Finance Minister Arun Jaitley slammed the Congress for promising to abolish the sedition law. He alleged that for them, anti-nationalism is not a crime. Indian Penal Code say Section 124 Capital A Sedition Hata Diya Jayega. Desh Duroh Karna Ab Aparad Nahi Hoga. Jo Party Is Tarah Ka Goshna Karti Hai, Wo Is Desh Ke Ek Bhi Vote Ki Hakadar Nahi Hai. Manifesto Me Likha Hai, Ki CRPC Ko Badala Jayega, Ki Jamanat Ab Se Niyam Ban Jayega, Ye Pravadhan Dala Gaya Hai, Is Desh Ke Maowadiyon Ki Or Jihadiyon Ki Raksha Karne Ke Liye. Ki Kuch Samay Ke Pashchat Unko Jamanat Mil Jaye. On the issue of farm loan waiver, Jetli alleged that Congress has not waived loans of farmers in the states where it is in power. He stated that Congress' manifesto is unimplementable. Reacting to BJP leader Arun Jetli's comment on sedition, senior Congress leader P. Chidambaram said, sedition is an outdated colonial era law. Sedition is a colonial era law. Many, many eminent people have said sedition must go. We have made other laws for example, the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. There is also the Defense of India Act. Anything that will come under sedition are already covered by those laws. The Election Commission has written to Secretary, Minister of Civil Aviation and Chairman Railway Board of a non-compliance of lawful instructions and lackadaisical approach towards enforcing the Model Code of Conduct. On the 27th of last month, the poll body had written to both the ministries asking them as to why the pictures of Prime Minister Narendra Modi have not been removed from rail tickets and Air India boarding passes, even after the model code of conduct came into effect. He said disciplinary action will be taken against the officers in charge and a report on the action will have to be submitted to the Commission in a week. Delhi Chief Electoral Office has registered more than 100 FIRs against various political parties including AAP, BJP and the Congress and others for violation of the Model Code of Conduct. An official release said statistics surveillance team has also seized over 1 crore 21 lakh rupees in cash. More than 2 lakh 55,000 posters, banners and hoardings have been removed since the poll code came into force. This is All in the Radio giving you the news for quick news updates. Follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. News Services Division of All India Radio is broadcasting a special live program, Janadesh 2019, on the developments related to the general elections 2019. Tune in to the FM Gold channel of AIR from 4 or 5 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. every day till the announcement of results to listen to this special program. Indian Chile have signed three MOUs for cooperation in the fields of mining, culture and empowerment of persons with disabilities. The agreements which were signed during President Ram Nath Kovin's visit to Chile will further enhance engagement in economic, social and cultural fields between the two countries. 
Chile is the sixth largest trading partner of India in the Latin American region. President reached Cape Town in South Africa this afternoon. After a three-nation tour of Croatia, Bolivia and Chile, the President is making a transit halt at Cape Town. Mr. Kovind will interact with members of the Indian community in Cape Town. He will return to New Delhi on Thursday morning. BSP Supremo Mayawati today defended in the Supreme Court the construction of life sites statues of herself in Uttar Pradesh, saying they represent the will of the people. The former Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister in an affidavit filed in the Apex Court said that memorials and statues of herself and other leaders are intended to promote values of various social reformers and leaders among the public and not intended to promote the symbol of BSP or to glorify her. She said funds for construction of the memorial and installation of statues was sanctioned through budgetary allocations after approval of the budget by the state legislature. Mayamati also sought the dismissal of a plea which alleged that public funds were misused in the construction of memorials and statues, saying it is politically motivated. Supreme Court today refused to accord urgent hearing to Congress leader Hardik Patel's plea challenging the Gujarat High Court order, rejecting stay on his conviction in the 2015 Vispur rioting case. The matter was mentioned for urgent listing before a bench headed by Justice Arun Mishra. The bench comprising Justices M. M. Shantana Godar and Naveen Sinha told the counsel for Patel that there is no urgency in hearing the matter as the High Court order was passed in August last year. The Director General of BSF, Rajni Kant Mishra, today said the force is fully prepared to meet any challenge posed by Pakistan which is continuously violating the ceasefire by targeting forward areas along the LOC in Jammu and Kashmir. He said the Indian forces are giving a befitting response to the unprovoked mortar shelling and firing by the Pakistan army. He was talking to reporters in Jammu. Veteran filmmaker Mahindran passed away today in Chennai following a brief illness. He was 79. One of his Tamil movies, Nejante Kilade, received national award and many of his movies propelled famous stars like Rajni Kant to great stardom. At the stock market, Sensex hit a fresh all-time high today and the rupee posted solid gains against the dollar, a report. Rising for the fourth straight day, the Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange rose 185 points to a record closing high of 39,057. The Nifty advanced 44 points to 11,713. At the Forex market, the rupee jumped 40 paise to 68.74 against the US dollar. And Brent crude futures shed 10 cents to trade at $68.91 a barrel. With Kamal Saxena, Paul Thottam for AIR News. In badminton, India's Samir Verma lost to Chinese Shi Yuki in his opening campaign at the Malaysia Open that began at Kuala Lumpur today. In a pulsating clash against world number two, Samir Verma suffered a 20-22-23-21-12-21 loss in a 65-minute men's singles. Pranav Jerry Chopra and NCK Reddy, however, made a good start to the campaign, aching out a 22-20-24-22 win over Ireland Sam Maggie and C. Maggie in mixed doubles. No Indian shuttler figured in the women's singles today. In the women's doubles, the Indian duo of Ashwini Punappa and N. Sikki Reddy lost 20-22-21-17-2022 to South Korean pair of Baek Hana and H.R. Kim. In IPL cricket, Royal Chances Bangalore were 110 for 3 in 15.2 overs against Rajasthan Royals at Jaipur when reports last came in. Rajasthan Royals won the toss and elected to field. Both Rajasthan and Royal Challengers are winless yet in the current edition of the IPL. Tomorrow, Chennai Super Kings and Mumbai Indians will have the first showdown of the season in Mumbai. The match will begin at 8 p.m. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Electioneering gains further momentum for the first phase of Lok Sabha polls. Notification issued for the fourth phase involving 71 seats. Senior BJP leader and Prime Minister Narendra Modi says the country will never compromise on the issue of safety and security. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley slams Congress for promise to abolish sedition law. Congress says sedition is an outdated colonial era law. Sense closes past 39,000 mark for the first time. In badminton, India Samir Verma loses to Chinese Shi Yuki in the opening match of the Malaysia Open at Kuala Lumpur. And in IPL cricket match underway between Rajasthan Royals and Royal Challenges Bangalore in Jaipur. And for details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.nic.in. And that is all in the news at 9. Good night. <laughs>